Hey Derby High School, it's so nice to see you back for another episode. My name is Joey Buffington and I'll be your host for today. Next up is a video by Vanessa Bethumi. Uh, she had captured the ROTC's 9-11 ceremony. Next up, we have a video about everyone's favorite thing, the new laptops. It was directed by Alyssa Haddock and filmed by Alicia Bishop. Why do we need the new laptops? Well, the reason that we got the new Chromebooks this year is because the Macs that we had were on a four-year lease agreement, and that lease was up. And so the district and the technology department in the district had to decide what to do at that point. Uh, what they decided is the Chromebooks were a cheap option that students could access all of their Google Docs on, that they could use for schoolwork, and that they would have limited chances to do online video gaming and downloading, because that seemed to be a big issue with the Macs. Do you think the laptop handouts this year went easier? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I thought the students did a great job uh, following directions, and, and I realize all the upperclassmen have done the checkout and pass in uh, a few times, so they had practice, but I, I thought the students did great. Teachers did a great job bringing them down in an orderly fashion. They went through the line. For what I saw on my end, I thought it went real smooth. To get almost every device passed out in two homerooms was outstanding. I think that students are going to be successful with whatever device they have if they use it correctly. Um, if they use it to do their work and to access their online textbooks, I, I think their Chromebook will be just fine. If you could choose, would you go back? You know, I... I really don't know because I, I still have a Mac myself. I haven't used the Chromebook. I know that, that the teachers still use the Macs and that they can access everything that they need. You know, I don't think that one's, you know, a better option or not, but I know that the Chromebooks are much cheaper for the taxpayers at Derby, uh, much cheaper to first put in students' hands and much cheaper to repair if there is a problem. <laughs> what do you think about the laptops and why do you think that? I think they are a beneficial tool that we um, are blessed with here at the, our high school. I think they're obviously different than our last year's laptops, um, but they're still a very helpful tool. We, over the last four years, have had many damaged devices. Uh, again, that was one of the main um, reasons, I think, going to the Chromebooks. The damage added up over the years. Uh, a good example would be just having a charger that was lost. A lost charger would cost 80 bucks. Uh, a broken screen could be upwards of six, seven hundred dollars. To where the new Chromebooks, you can replace the screens for less than you could replace the chargers on the Macs. Now, one thing that is going to change, or could change, depending on what the district decides. But there is a chance that the device that you have in your hand right now, you could have the entire time you're here at Derby High. So take care of your device. That's very important. If you keep it in good orderly fashion, I've even heard them talk about um, possibly when you get done here, maybe somehow being able to buy the device or keep the device. Thanks you two. That was very informative. For the next video, we have a fitness documentary by Devin Newman. I think a lot of what gets you into the sport of bodybuilding is just a large burial of insecurity. If I could, I mean, just be real here, that's what a lot of bodybuilders say whenever they get into the sport, is like, I was too weak, I was too small, I was too this, that, too fat, whatever. Maybe not good enough. It's just that kind of mindset what puts you into either destroying yourself or wanting to be better. So I think bodybuilding is a good outlet for that. I think it's a good way out to escape your reality, just to be better, choose who you want to be. Back in, back in like the beginning of my training, like back in the beginning of when I first started going to the gym, you know, waking up, getting into a routine, it was hard, man. Like, it was 
the hardest thing to do in my entire life was just getting up, eating, and then taking pre-workout, getting, like watching maybe a few like videos, getting into the mindset, watch, like listening to music on those like long car rides to the gym and getting used to things that were different for me and muscles I wasn't used to working. And, I mean, my body ate all the time, but I still just kept showing up because if you push yourself past that point where you can like take that pain and keep going, then like there's nothing that's gonna stop you, you know? If you can push yourself to that point, then get used to getting uncomfortable, that's the most comfortable place you can be in. Somewhere north of Florida, a little west of Georgia, at my best you're not impressed, guess I'm a loser. new students by Dahu Fam. Yeah, I don't know why you fell without me, you know what I mean? Hi, my name is Aaron Pecklum Chen. Uh, I'm a new student to Derby. I'm from San Francisco, California, and I went to Los Altos High School. How's your experience in Derby High School? Um, Derby High School, it's been all right so far. I just moved here. I haven't really met nobody, but I'm still, it's still pretty fun. I have pretty good classes and the teachers are pretty nice. How was Derby different from where you were before? Um, it's really different being from uh, outside high school to a, like an indoor building um yeah there's no open campus and it's weird but i'm still adjusting to it um instead of being from like a small i mean a big city moving to a small city is really slow pace and very different but I'm, I'm learning to adapt and get used to living here how did you move over here i got kicked out but now i live with my grandpa so it's, it's not that bad <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about Derby? It ain't that cool, honestly. It's a closed campus. Um, it's small. Everybody's musty. Um, <laughs> other than that, Derby's been pretty cool so far. I met a couple of new people. Um, my classes are pretty easy. Nothing too hard. And yeah, I get along with everybody I meet so far. So, do you miss uh, being at California? Yeah, I do a lot. Um, the transition was pretty big, but I'm getting used to it. If I could, I'd go back, but you know, I'm stuck in. I'm stuck here. But it's cool. What would you change while being here? Um, honestly, not much. Uh, Derby's all right for what it is. I'd probably change the parking lot. It sucks hella bad. Y'all need to change that right now. Like. Um, that needs to get fixed. Other than that, Derby's not that bad. Alright, thanks. Yep. They grew up so young. That's why I kicked out of California. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Now enough of me. So let's go on to the sports segment. Sports segment, sports time. Let's do it. 
this is Fourth Circuit. My name is Brett Jones. Let's get this thing smacking. First up, we have some epic tennis. They went up to the Emporia Invitational. Our own Katrina Mason slaughtered the competition and took home the gold. That is absolutely stellar. They have a home meet this week. I am pumped. Next, we have some volleyball. They had a good week beating both Salina South and Salina Central 2-0 in sets in their matches. We also got girls golf. Emma Johnson is continuing her vicious tear through the golf circuit, taking first place at the Winfield meet. She's a beast. This team, the team as a whole, took fourth overall. Hey, Hey, it is soccer time. Soccer has been a dominating 5-1 uh, and one on the season now. They took third place at the Titan Classic Tournament against really good competition, beating both Manhattan and Capon in the tournament. Finally, we have some football. They ended the existence of Salina Central 63-0, being up 55-0 at half. That is insane. We got a highlight edited by Hannah Abu Faisal, so let's hit it. We are Panthers. We fight where we are told and we win where we fight. Thanks for joining us for DTV this week. See you around next week.